Well, pleasure to be joined now on Mass and All Access by Sig Meidel, Assistant GM Analytics. Sig, thank you so much for joining me here. Happy to be here. So I wanted to take a little bit of time. We're going to have a few segments here breaking down some advanced stats, maybe some stats that you have heard on the broadcast and weren't quite sure what they meant and why you should care about it. So Sig, wanted to start today with a kind of a grouping of two stats, okay. OPS and OPS plus. OPS, a little bit more common, OPS plus, not so much. Let's start with OPS. Can you just give us an explainer as to what OPS is measuring? Yeah, I think it stems from the idea of like, wouldn't it be great if we had some single overall statistic that quite well quantified, valued the player's offensive contribution. And I think in the 1860s, they had the idea of batting average. That was right around the end of the Civil War. A lot of things have changed, um, not only the country, but our game. Back then, the batter would call for the pitch, whether he wanted it high or low. The pitchers were all pitching underhand. It was eight or nine balls for a walk. So a little were, different game. Yeah, yeah. there were very few walks. <laughs> The ball was dead, so there were very few homers. So if you had a metric that just counted the amount of singles per at-bat, it wasn't ideal, but it wasn't that bad. But fast forward to today's game, almost half the runs are knocked in by homers. We appreciate the value of a walk, and it just simply is not a very good statistic. Of all the metrics, why in the world would you pick one that doesn't count the walk and treats a homer the same as a single. So along comes OPS. And so OPS is on-base percentage plus slugging. And so on-base percentage is simply the amount of times you're on base per plate appearance. So the deficiency of batting average as far as missing the walk is made up for an on-base percentage. And then slugging is just total bases per at-bat. And so homer is four, triple is three, double is two. So the deficiency with batting average in that it treats a homer, a triple, the same as a single, which we know is not the case, is made up for in the slugging. And so if you add the two together, it does amazingly well. Like if you got all geeked out and you calculated the exact value of a homer or a single, uh, when you compare that, to the OPS value, it's it's right on. It's a tiny bit off, but it's right on. So when I'm looking at a baseball reference page, say for the Orioles, and I'm just looking at the 2023 stats for the hitters, if I'm trying to find, okay, who have been the best hitters in this lineup this year, OPS would be a good place to start. Exactly. It correlates the best with runs, and that's what a batter's trying to do when he's at the plate. So then OPS plus is a little less common than OPS. You hear about OPS a good amount, yeah. but tell me about OPS plus and what's that measuring? Yeah, so sometimes the average of OPS in the league might change or vary between like 700 and 750. So sometimes the average is, is changing, and so OPS plus... Uh, is an attempt to relate a specific player's OPS to the league average, but also to adjust for the park. It's a lot easier to have a high OPS in a hitter's park than it is a pitcher's park. So it adjusts for that, and it adjusts for the league average. And so 100 is you seem to have average production. A 120 is 20% above average and so on. So how have you seen the OPS plus at Camden Yards change with the different dimensions here? I would imagine that the OPS plus for some Orioles players has increased given the fact that it went from, you know, a pretty heavy hitters park to now back closer to league averages, maybe even more towards a pitcher's park. Yeah, so obviously moving the left field fences back a bit is not going to increase the run scoring. So the park is taking a step from being uh, one of the most extreme hitters park to more of a neutral park. Uh, so yeah, the OPS raw numbers are going to go down on average, but the OPS park adjusted numbers uh, will account for that. So if I see an Orioles hitter with an OPS plus of say, you know, 